All right. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, Kalila. Um, so I was raised in this area, um, Slate Creek, and it's probably that surrounding area that kind of got me into ecology, which is why I'm going to be studying at the U of I. Um, I'm really excited to study ecology at the U of I, but I'm probably equally excited to run track and field for them. All right. And so what led you to choose U of I? Um, several things. Um, I know it's close to home, but that probably wasn't one of my main reasons. I really liked their track program. I really liked their coaches. Um, and then I think the thing that kind of sold me was their natural uh, resources college. Um, it's kind of everything that I was looking for in a college. And I know that the U of I is always big on, you know, it's a small group and it's like your family. And I never really bought that. And I'd been in the U of I a couple of times for several different tours and I didn't really feel that way um, until I met with the people in my specific college. Um, and they were just great. And uh, I think I met with them on a Thursday and then it was at Vandal Friday. Um, and then the next following day, um, one of the professors came up to me and started talking to me. He's like, hey, this, you need to meet this guy. And so that was just really awesome um, and that he even remembered who I was. Mm -hmm. And so what draws you to ecology? Um, I don't really know. My dad is the biology teacher here at the high school. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess I kind of grew up with that. Um, but it's just something that I've always been interested in since I was little. All right, and where does that degree take you? What kind of a job are you looking for? Uh, I don't really know yet. I'm hoping that's something that I can figure out at the U of I. Sure. And so say a little bit about your high school sports career and some of the people that uh, really helped you along the way with that. OK. Um, I had an awesome um, track life, I guess, at Grangeville. Um, there's so many wonderful people. Um, I guess the first person that comes to mind is Les Lober, who is my cross country coach and then also my track coach. And he, he wasn't, you know, the typical coach, um, but I mean, he, he knew exactly when everything was going to happen and he would give us our splits and so we'd work on that. And um, I guess he's just one of the people that I'd even consider a friend, um, which I don't think I could ever would think would happen with a coach um, but he's just a super great guy and uh, he's kind of one of the uh, my brother and Mr. Lober and my dad kind of all pushed me to try the 800 mm -hmm. um, which ended up probably being one of my favorite events that I've ever done um, so then yeah my brother um, he's the one who got me into cross country my freshman year um, and then Cheyenne Stewart and Megan Sullivan uh, my freshman year, they kind of took me under their wing and helped me train, um, and I think that really helped me uh, win my fourth four state champions my senior year. Um, so, what is it you like about the 800? Um, I think the thing I like about the 800 is after I get done, I know that that's everything that I could have done. Um, I started out with a 400 and that was kind of my main race and uh, it took a little bit of guts to do that until I found the 800 and uh, I mean that's basically two 400s back to back and yeah that you're running them a little bit slower but it doesn't feel slower and uh, once you get done with the 800 uh, you know that you've given it all you've got and uh, I think one of my favorite things about the 800 as well um, is just the combination that I did um, with the 800 and 400. Um, which there was a, there was a one race in between the eight and four, um, and I guess I just like the challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so, uh, what memories do you have of uh, state your senior year there? Uh, so senior year is probably my favorite year for track. Um, I did win four golds, but that's probably well actually five with the team. Um, but even if I wouldn't have gotten all four, I think it still would have been my favorite year because I had a lot of great people. Um, I On my medley team, I had Haley Sullivan and Darby Finnegan and Emily uh, Cashmitter. And that was just a great group of girls and we just had fun. Um, and uh, so that was that was the first day. So we got that first win. And then the next day, um, we had 400 and, two, or, well, I guess the first day was 800 or 400. Problems. Anyway. Um, <laughs> The second day, I ended up winning the 8-4-2, um, which 
was a fantastic feeling. Um, and I had worked really hard for that. Uh, and then I think it made it even better because our coaches had kind of figured that we could win the team championship. And so again, Mr. Lober crunched a lot of numbers and so did Mr. Anderson. And uh, they kind of figured out where they could pick people um, to get those points. And we did and get the team title for the girls, um, which hasn't happened for quite a while. So that was exciting too. Okay. When did you decide to get into distance running or to, to running, period? Um, so distance running, I didn't really think I would ever get into, and I guess technically the 800 is probably still a middle distance. Um, but I did kind of start to fall in love with cross country, um, and that didn't really happen until maybe two months before my freshman year when my brother finally convinced me that, hey, maybe I should take cross country, it'd be good for me. Um, and I absolutely hated it my freshman year. I mean, it was, it was just terrible. And um, I think the thing that made me stick it out for cross country was all the teammates, which, um, and same with track. I know that it's not really a team sport, but I think your teammates, I mean, if you don't, if you don't have a good relationship with your teammates, then it's not gonna be fun. Um, and they're there for you, cheering you on, you know, on that second lap of the 800, you know, they're right there for you. So I think that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that's interesting to me about the 800 as just a fan is uh, you get people who come from more of that distance kind of a perspective and then you get people who come from the shorter races who, uh, you know, both they kind of collide in the 800. And so that makes it a really interesting event that way. Uh, but you like the sprints a little bit more, I gather. I do. and and. I guess the 800 is, um, I think it is kind of borderline, because um, distance is a lot of strategy, mm -hmm. and that's definitely not my strong suit. My coaches could definitely tell you that, because um, I'm just competitive, um, and so that's why the sprints were good for me. But the 800, I kind of I kind of liked a little bit of the, uh, little bit of the tactics involved there. And like you said, there are some distance people and there are some sprinter people, and that's kind of what happened to me my junior year. Um, I went out and I ran the first lap pretty fast um, and I ended up kind of dying at the end and uh, one of the girls that had won the two mile I believe um, ended up winning that race my junior year and I think that kind of made me determined to win it my senior year so yeah it's, it definitely is a little bit a little bit of a clash between sprinters and all this Sure and uh... So the last time we had talked about it, you were looking at doing the heptathlon. Is that still on the table there? Yep. Um, I'm really excited to try the hep. Um, I'm going to be throwing javelin and uh, also hurdles, which are two things that I've never done before. Um, so I'm excited to try those and see if that works out for me. Okay. Are you working with any particular coaches trying to get ready for that? Um, not right now. Um, I worked with Ted Lindsley a little bit towards the end of uh, the spring of the track season um, and he's been great um, he helped me with shot um, which I had no idea what I was doing to start out with and I was completely incompetent at it um, and I, I've gotten pretty good at it and he's given me a lot of stuff that I can still work on mm -hmm. during the summer so. and so the throws a lot of the throws are just having that mastery of technique and I guess the hurdles have some of that kind of element too, uh, but I'm sure there's a lot of technical things that people don't see in uh, the foot races, and so do you have any thoughts on that? Um, I think the biggest thing, well I guess I'm kind of equally concerned with the hurdles and the javelin. Um, I know the javelin is a lot of form, and I guess people, what I've heard is that it's kind of a lot of the same form as high jump as far as how you're moving, I guess, um, which I wouldn't have guessed. Um, and then hurdles, um, I know that's, that's a lot of hip um, strength, which I kind of struggled with my sophomore year, um, but I think I've kind of got that under control, and so I'm excited to learn it, but um, I don't know, it seems kind of like a coordination thing, so we'll see how my coordination works with me on that. Sure. And they've got you on scholarship up there? Yeah, it's a 30% scholarship, which is just a little bit under. Oh, very good. So, that's what I had in mind to ask you about. Did you have any other thoughts that you want to add? I don't think so. All right, well, thanks a ton. And I'm going to get a photo here real quick, too. 